What's going on, Phoenicians? Hey, welcome to another gaming commentary for the Bikes DLC. Now, I'm inside my clubhouse, way over here, and I moved all of my bikes over here. This was an excellent addition to the game. Basically, what happened was uh, any bike vehicle that you own can now be transferred into this building as a sixth property, which frees up so much space in my other garages. So, I have three of the, I don't know how many new bikes, it says right here on the uh, patch notes, I'm going to put the patch notes in the description, you guys go ahead, go down there and click it and uh, follow along with me, there are 13 new bikes added to the game, so I got the Nightblade, the Street Blazer, and right here the Bobber, the Western Bobber is actually my favorite out of all these, because look, look very closely at the belt, you see it, you see the belt moving? It's also one of the most modifiable modifiable vehicles in the game. Like, it's insane. And then this thing right here is just super fun to ride. It's very, very stable. And then this one is, like, very, very fast. There's a bunch of new vehicles in the game, which I will now show you. First off, the uh, Hakucho Drag. I'm not really sure. This is like a Hach uh, Hakucho with a uh, wheel on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll buy this ever. It's like a million bucks. It looks good though, it really does look good. And then on Southern San Andreas, you have the Defiler, which I rode, it's very fast, but has stability problems. The Camara, which, that, th I tried this bike, it's, it has trouble. It, they didn't mod they didn't uh, design it right. Then you have the Zombie Chopper, the Fagio Mod, which comes with a lot of random modifications to it. The Fagio Sport, the Avaris, the Wolfsbane, which is, the rat bike, but you know, it's nicer. Manchez, Street Blazer, Nightblade, Zombie Bobber. And then they put the uh, bagger in here as well, the Western bagger, which you, could, you used to be able to steal off the street normally. Now you can see here it says foreclosure, Maze Bank. This is just foreclosed properties which you could use as clubhouses, right? This being the most expensive one right here. And then mine over here being the cheapest, right? You go ahead and go in here and renovate it. You could choose murals, you can change the uh, style of the clubhouse. Make it nicer. You can put an emblem on. I just chose my crew emblem. Club name. I named mine Phoenix Fire. You can put the uh, gun locker in the same way you can put a, uh, a gun locker in the, um, what is it, the offices, right? You go over here to this computer. This is inside the clubhouse. You can do a lot of stuff in this clubhouse. What does it say here? Oh, I can add the, that's what a gun locker would be. You can sit down here. Lay down here. Change my clothes here. Then right here. If I sit down, this is the uh, computer. Click on this, and just like the uh, Secure Serve Network, you have this. Now this is my office, and this is basically your business, right? So, the business is over here in Grapeseed. Now, my stock level is about halfway, but you have to keep the supplies level up, right? So, you keep buying supplies, you got to go to the office itself. Now, you can buy businesses. You can only have one business per category. So, I have, I have one forgeries business. You can buy weed, counterfeit cash, meth, and coke, right? And these range from a price of 715000 to... Well over 1.8 million. So I'm guessing the more you have in here, the uh, more profitable your business will be, right? So basically you just buy supplies, let the workers inside the office do their job, and uh, you do it. Yeah, it's LJT, pretty cool. Uh, oh, he's calling me. This is one of the dudes news. from the office with some bad news. The document shop's completely out of supplies. Yep. Production's ground to a halt. You want them up and running again? Get them what they need. So he's calling me, uh, making sure I go and get more supplies, right? I'm going to just sit down here. There's the mural. I play arm wrestling here. What's in here? So this is a boardroom, basically. You can sit at the end of the table here. It, is. it says Phoenix Fire on it. What's this right here? I didn't notice this before. Oh, these are contracts. So basically you do stuff. So stick up a crew with a safe. 
fragile goods wrecking what does it say so you basically just move stuff this is like stats right here wow very nice ah naked pictures <laughs> so it gives you all the stats for clubhouses and then weapon of choice yeah so you need more members to start these contracts it's pretty interesting oh and there's there's my logo okay there's the crew logo right there and then there's just more there's the crew logo again there's a lady behind the bar what's this oh, I could use the jukebox to change the music in here so uh, let's go on a bike roll out and go towards the uh, business that I own I'm gonna get on this one so I like it now this uh, blazer that my character is wearing is part of the uh, outfits as well this is one of the mods it's called mod uh, blazer if you don't know what mod means it's basically British a British subculture so let's go to the document forgery office. Now, a few people were already asking how do you use your uh, what, um, melee weapons, right? So I already have the pipe wrench. I have all the weapons. You hold X, and then you press L or R, right? And you just wax at it. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> he looks kind of scary when he does that. But yeah, this is the blazer, uh, the sport blazer, right? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't, oh my god, there goes my blazer. <laughs> Get back here. This is the only bike where you actually put, like, rims that are not biker rims on it. You can also do the melee hit with your uh, guns, too, right? Some people wanted to see this. This is the compact grenade launcher. See? Let me fire it. There it goes. I don't know where it exploded at. And then you have pipe bombs right here. These pipe bombs just explode on impact. See? They're pretty strong. Woo! So these are these pipe bombs are more of like weapons of attrition, but they can be very useful. So let's see if I can hit this car. Ah, I missed. Alright, let's try to hit the other one. LJT, got a minute. Uh, I feel like our little enterprise is doing well, but it could be doing even weller. Can this guy stop calling me? I guess this guy's gonna keep calling me until I upgrade shit in the, in the office. There we go. I hit him. The only thing I don't like about this is uh, I can't really summon any vehicles but as a club president. It just says find prospects, manage, club work, there's nothing really I can do right now. Earlier I did stand your ground. That was a uh, 20 minute long insane battle. Well, the other guy left, so maybe, since I am in a public lobby, maybe I can show you guys how these uh, businesses are run. So here's my business right here. This is the cheapest business you can buy. It's a forgeries operation. It's pretty interesting. You own a business as a uh, motorcycle club president. And inside it, there's people hard at work. People hard at work here. Just doing stuff. Well, they're they're sitting idly. Look at that. They're all they're all on their phones because they can't do anything right now. They were hard at work. So here's all this stuff right here, right? So what you do is you go in here to this website, log in, resupply. You buy supplies. That's a lot of money. Or steal supplies. What does it say? Do I want to steal supplies from my business? Let me try this because it doesn't cost me any money. But it's probably risky. Like really, really risky. Okay. You ever seen those videos of the Black Friday sales where housewives eye gouge each other over discount coasters well this is a bit like that okay except you're hitting a bago set ah shit you're signaling a plane instead of them and getting their supply drop hmm? don't you just love a bargain oh boy this sounds tough all right so i gotta go over here a mile a mile and six away it might be easier if i do this with a different aircraft or a helicopter or something 
So yeah, that guy that called me earlier, um, yeah, LJT, he's the guy who's in charge of basically making sure the business that I'm running as a club president runs fine, right? So he told me to go over here to this drop, which is, where is it at? It's by the, oh, okay, it's by the ocean. So this ain't going to be easy at all. But the good news is I'm in a lobby by myself, so I don't have to worry about people uh, bothering me. The tough part is uh, I'm with nobody. Like, none of my friends are online right now. We were playing earlier trying to figure everything out, and that's why I, I didn't record, because I wanted to show you guys what I was doing. <laughs> and I'm not really doing much right now. Anyway, look at this spike, though. This thing, this thing is heavily modifiable, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, God. There goes me. You know what's cool about this? Return personal vehicle to storage. Then you can summon another bike. Summon, zom uh, summon the zombie bobber. Uh, zombie bobber. Here it is. Summon this is a stockhorn. I don't know if you can hear that that well, but that, that stockhorn is amazing. Uh, so let's go over here to the droop. Take out the enemies. Oh boy. Alright. I'm going to need some help. Actually, hold on a minute. Can I just blow him up? Yeah, that was easy enough. Oh god, that fence is flying. Oh shit. Alright. Break open the... F oh shit, okay. I probably should be careful from now on. Okay. There's a flare, so you drop flares over here. Wait for the crate to land. Now this is not nearly as straightforward as I thought it'd be. So you guys are looking at the uh, patch notes. There's a lot of missions that they added to these uh, contracts. So I think you do contracts like one at a time, and then you get more and more contracts. Steal the supplies. Okay, the st supplies are falling. Got it. So, the uh, signal lasts for 20 seconds. Let me just get back on my bike. This is probably not a good idea. I probably should have caught a better vehicle. I am most likely going to get ambushed. There is very much a reality. So now everyone in the lobby, if there were people in the lobby, they could see that I have stuff that they might want. If you blow up their stuff though, it's only two, like 200,000, uh, 2,000 yen, like, yen, wow, 2,000 dollars. Basically 2,000 yen in real money. <laughs> but basically, you know, blowing up crates isn't worth it. I mean, if the only time blowing up crates is worth it is if you want to be an absolute asshole, right? So I'm gonna go the long way back to my garage. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, how far away am I? I'm only a half mile away. All right, so that ain't bad. That's interesting though. So I had to just blow up all those guys and then toss flares, steal the stuff, and then drive back, right? This is a very interesting game concept that Rockstar introduced. I, I like it. Rockstar is giving us more ways to do, uh, you know, make money and shit, so. Now we're back at the business. I didn't Oh, I have to go around back? Is there a garage back here? Oh yeah, there is a garage. There we go. Resupplied. The supplies are delivered. How much supplies do I have though? It doesn't really accurately tell you. You have to keep just checking on this stuff. We're all good. LJT, logging out. These assholes are still just sitting here texting. That was only one supplies, though. So I might have to buy more and more supplies. 
Or at least steal more and more supplies. Upgrade. So... So if you buy these upgrades, it says you can speed up your production rate, improve overall value of your product, and allow your supplies to stretch further. This will speed up the production rate and improve the value of the product. This will reduce the likelihood of being raided by cops or attacked by enemies. Oh, wow, the supplies are already drifting down in the red. So they are working, they're already working on this. So it's a matter of keeping your business stocked. It's like the crates, but it's a little bit different at the same time. So this is pretty much the overview for uh, the bikes DLC. Overall, I think it's a really nice uh, add addition to the game. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff you could do with it. And uh, there's a lot of improvements they made to the game. So I'm going to go right off into the unknown roads. <laughs> Looks kind of weird in cinematic mode. But anyway, you guys take care. I'll see you on the next video. There you go. Take it easy, Phoenicians.